start this video with a little philosophical thought. Bear with me. Like we as humans prefer to stay in a comfortable home, a comfortable space. Likewise, our plants also want a comfortable habitat. A lot of people, even me, a lot of times I talk about the right kind of sunlight, the right kind of water, but many a times we ignore the right kind of soil that the plant needs. The ideal soil for most indoor plants should have three basic ingredients. First is regular soil, any soil that you have access to. It provides a solid matrix for the roots to hold on to. Second is cocoa peat. It adds organic matter, holds moisture without suffocating the roots. And the third key component is a fertilizer or khad, which we often refer to as compost or vermicompost. Remember, a good potting mix for indoor plants should be porous, it should hold moisture as needed and it should provide the necessary nutrition for the plant to grow. This is important because this will reduce the water logging and it will protect your plant against root rotting. In order to prepare the indoor plant potting mix, we will use regular soil. This is the soil that I get outside. Mm -hmm. And the second thing that you would need is cocoa peat. Now cocoa peat comes as a brick. This brick can be expanded with water and then you can scrape it off. So we will make this mix with equal amount of garden soil. This soil is blackish in color. That means it has a lot of organic matter. The soil in my garden, for example, has a lot of organic matter. In your garden, it might not. It's okay. So I've noticed that in South India, in Bangalore and areas around there, the soil is generally reddish in color. This is because of high iron content. In Maharashtra, you would generally get blackish soil. In Haryana, I have noticed that the soil is grayish. It does not have a lot of organic matter. So don't worry of the color part. If it doesn't matches with your garden soil, it's completely okay. And equal amounts of cocoa peat. So here we have soil for the solid matrix. It will have some nutrition as well for the plant. Cocoa peat for good drainage and also for holding moisture. This is like a universal potting mix that will work for most indoor plants. And the third component that I'm going to add here is compost. This is khad. This khad was made from kitchen waste. Instead, if you get gober khad, the one which is called as manure, that is also completely okay. Three things are important regular soil, cocoa peat and compost as fertilizer and now we mix them all. Sometimes you would also notice white substance in soil that's mostly perlite. People also add thermocol, don't do that. <laughs> thermocol is plastic. Perlite is the right kind of supplement that can be added in soil. If you have access to perlite that's great because it helps retain air pockets for really long. What happens when you continue watering your plants then the air pockets reduce and the soil becomes compact. One way is that you continue loosening the soil. But remember, loosening can only be done on the top of the soil, but not for the bottom part of the soil. So that's why people also add perlite that increases the length, the age of that potting mix. Also, I remember here, people ask that should we repot the plant, should I change the soil? See, there's nothing as new soil or old soil. It essentially means that does your soil have enough nutrition to sustain for the plant. Now in pots, whenever we continue watering, the nutrition is lost either dissolved in water or the plant takes up. So you would need to continuously add fertilizer for sure, but you don't have to change the soil. Okay, I'm going to mix it. Now this is well mixed and we are going to add this to our pot. But before that, I want to talk about our sponsors, Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes from photography to gardening to self-care and much more. In fact, these days I'm taking a class by my friend Ankit Bhatia. He's a filmmaker and a YouTuber who has recently launched a class called Video Editing, Create Cinematic Travel Videos. In this class, Ankit goes beyond editing and shares helpful tips on organizing hours of footage and making your narration more powerful as a story. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning. There are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes on a range of topics. If that sounds fun, the first 1000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now, whenever you're adding soil to a pot, you would see typically people use gravel to block the drainage hole. You can do that. What I instead actually prefer is that 
I put one inch of soil at the base and I press it against the base. This will make the soil compact and block the drainage hole so that the soil does not go out, only the water goes out and then we fill it up. This kind of soil will work with most indoor plants that we typically get in our tropical country. Pothos like I have here for ZZ plant, for snake plant, ideally snake plant and ZZ plant because they are succulents having more component of perlite will be better. You don't want so much khad also because they don't require a lot of fertilizer. But in case if you have monsteras, this will work very well. Rubber plant will work very well. Dressinas also will work very well. Most of the plants that we get in our garden center in India, this soil will work for all of them. I hope this video helps. Do remember to check out our other videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.